So, hello and welcome to lesson 5 in our study of optimization 1. So, in this video, we'll talk about constraint multivariable optimization with equality constraints. This is very important. So, let's say you want to optimize this function here subject to this constraint okay so if you see this is multivariable and the constraint we have equal to here so we have equality constraints okay where our i runs from 1 to m so there are various methods for solving the above problem but we shall discuss only two of them that's a direct substitution method and the Lagrangian multipliers method. So in this video, we'll talk about the direct method. Then in the next video, we'll talk about the multiple, the Lagrangian multipliers method. So, um, you know, since our constraints, they are continuous and differentiable. That means what we do is that we express any of them in terms of the remaining variables and then we substitute it into the objective function. So the new function that we obtain is not subject to any constraint and hence its optimum value can be obtained by the unconstrained optimization method we know. So sometimes this method is not convenient, so particularly when there are more than two variables in the objective function and are subject to constraints. Okay, so that means the direct substitution method has limitations, and there's a point for it. So let's take an example to explain what we are doing. So, um, example. We have to optimize g of x, y equals 6x squared plus 12y squared subject to the constraint x plus y equals 90. So this is our objective function. This is a constraint. Okay, so we come to the constraint and we can decide to make either x the subject or y the subject. So we make s the subject here, we are choosing x. You can choose y. And we get s equals 90 minus y. So substituting this into the objective function will give us g of y equals 6 times 90 minus y squared. So this in place of x. Then plus 12y squared. So you can see that now. What we are having is just one variable. Can you see? We just have g of y. So we've changed it to what we know how to solve, like what we did in our previous example. So in our previous video. So we find j prime of y. And that gives us j prime of y will equal to negative 12 times 90 minus y plus 24y. The necessary condition is that j prime of y should be equal to zero. So we equate it to zero and we solve for y. So we go through these steps and we get y to be 30. So after getting y to be 30, we know that x is equal to 90 minus y. So we substitute y here to get our x, which is 60. So now we have the point 60, 30 x y and so we can substitute that into our objective function that is g of x y equals 6 x squared plus 12 y squared so making that substitution will give us this and when we evaluate we get 32,400 so that means with this question the optimal value is 32,400 and it occurs at the point 60 30 so the reason why we are using optimal is that we don't know whether it is the 
maximal or the minimal the maximum value or the minimum value so we want to find out by using a sufficient condition so to do that you know we have x y so we use the Haitian matrix so if our Haitian matrix is positive definite or positive semi-definite then it means the function is convex so we are minimizing it if it is negative definite or negative semi-definite then it means it is a concave function so we are maximizing it so let's do that so we take a function then because it has just two variables this is going to be our Haitian matrix you're supposed to find for this that and that and that right so finding del g del x will give us 2 of x so del squared g over del s squared will give us 2 of and from here when you differentiate this with respect to y we get 0 which is the same as del squared g del y x then when you differentiate this with respect to y we get 24 y differentiating this again with respect to y we get 24 so now we make this substitution and we have this to be our Haitian matrix. So now we have to discuss the definiteness of it. So you can see that all our diagonals are positive. Our leading principal minor of order 1 is 12. E determinant is 12, which is greater than 0. The leading principal minor of order 2 is the same as our matrix H. And the leading principal determinant is the same as the determinant of our matrix H, which is 288, which is also greater than 0. So this shows that our Haitian matrix is positive definite. And what this implies is that then our function g of xy equals 6x squared plus 12y squared is a convex function. So it means here we are minimizing. So from this, then we conclude that the minimal value is 32,400 and it occurs at the point 6030. Okay, so um, thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So, in our next video, we will talk about equality constraints, but we are going to use the Lagrangian multipliers. Okay, see you in the next video.